I, too, am a strong advocate on policy to prevent domestic violence. Even before I was appointed to the Ad Hoc Committee on Domestic Violence by Chief Justice Ravner, I had put together a group of nurse leaders and advocates for domestic violence as a roundtable of how we could address this issue specifically in, the, in regard to the profession of nursing, but overall for the people of the state of New Jersey. Um, I just would like to say that there is nothing in this bill that will do anything to further protect the victims of domestic violence because these protections already exist. I have before you the, the uh, manual on uh, domestic violence that I worked on with the committee, which was made up of two assembly members, one Republican, one Democrat, and two senators, one Republican, one Democrat, with law enforcement and judiciary. We worked on this for one full year to go through the policies and procedures manual. Um, the law already prohibits domestic violence offenders from purchasing, owning, or possessing a firearm as well as holding their purchaser identification cards and permits. Additionally, they will be barred from ever getting a gun. Current law establishes that these offenders would be charged with a second degree offense if they possess a firearm and be sent to prison for a minimum of five years. Secondly, current law requires law enforcement to arrest the perpetrator of domestic violence and seize any weapon belonging to the accused offender. It's in the manual as well as their firearm identification card and permit to purchase a firearm. Page one of number one uh, uh, rule in the manual states, a victim of domestic violence must have access to the courts at all times. That's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So victims have the right to seek a temporary or permanent restraining order and to revoke the offender's right to possess a firearm. The court is required to prohibit the convict convicted offender from ever purchasing, owning, or possessing a firearm. All of this is encompassed in current law as in the manual. Um, in fact, it's been, it, as I said, it was found on page one. Even the proposed check of the firearms license applicant for the previous, from the domestic violence regist central registry, it, before issuing a license is in the manual. The conditional veto does nothing to strengthen current law. What, I mean, the, the original bill does not strengthen current law. The conditional veto does. If we really want to do something to protect victims of domestic violence, as I believe all of us here do, the, the, the language of the conditional veto sets forth a practical solution. The increased penalties under legislation, which I am a prime sponsor, along with Assemblywoman S Simon Peterson, Angelini Hanlon, would impose longer periods of incarceration and ensure that violent abusers are not released from prison too quickly. This serves as a better deterrent to prevent the abuse from being committed in the first place. Current procedures are not lacking in keeping guns out of the hands of abusers. For this, the state of New Jersey should be proud. But in this case, the work of the ad hoc committee composed of Republicans and Democrats Judges alike, at no point during the work of our committee did this issue ever come up as a problematic area. This is politics. So there's nothing in the bill that does anything to protect the victims of domestic violence. The conditional veto does. It strengthens the bill. It strengthens current law. 